What exactly are you doing here? I use these monitors to cut my five second clips together. <laughs> <laughs> you do know there are AI video tools now, right? <laughs> You've probably heard this phrase more than once. This is the best AI video platform. But what does best actually mean? And which criteria are we using? To me, the first thing that matters is real testing across different platforms. And I've done that quite a bit already with Vio, Sora, Adobe Firefly, Hedra, Hunyuan, LTX Studio, Pika, Pixverse, Skyreels, Vidu, Luma Dream Machine, OneAI, or Higgsfield, just to name a few. This time, the comparison is between Midjourney Video, Kling 2.1 Master, Hilo 2, also known as Minimax, and Runway Gen 4, the top model of each platform. Each one got the exact same image and prompt, based on the shared default settings for camera motion. If you're curious about the exact prompts and camera parameters, you'll find them in the description below. Before we jump into the test sequence, I've prepared a quick chart that shows the final results, but without revealing which platform is which. If you had to guess right now, where would you place each logo? Who do you think comes out on top? Don't worry. I'll show the actual outcome at the end of the video, and I can already tell you, I was pretty surprised. In my evaluation, I looked at prompt adherence, aesthetics, and overall impact, and gave one point for each win. If two or more platforms performed equally well, each one got a point. Testing with AI is always a fun process, but also a surprising one, especially when platforms that get hyped as the ultimate solution suddenly fall short. What's worth noting, the speed of mid-journey video is seriously impressive. Runway Gen 4, and I'm not talking about the turbo version, is just a bit slower. Kling 2.1 Master takes about 2-3 to three minutes, while Hilo falls behind with 4-5. to five. And Kling has another limitation, strong content filtering. In mid-journey, I also tested both high and low motion in manual mode, and both added an incredible amount of depth. But enough talking. In this video, I picked nine completely different scenes to really challenge the AI video platforms, from photorealism to illustration, from wide shots to close-ups, from quiet moments to full-on action. Bigfoot with a beer, a naval battle, a dragon, an earthquake, a face, a fight. It's all in here. For each image, we chose a camera movement that works across all platforms and adds visual interest to the scene. That way, you can directly compare how each AI handles complexity, motion, and depth. In the four panel layout, top left is always Hilo 2, aka Minimax. Top right is Kling 2.1 Master. Bottom left is Mid Journey Video and bottom right is Runway Gen 4. Example one, a gladiator in a gym-like setting. He's still kneeling, but already getting ready for the fight. Shield raised, preparing for defense. Hailu has him striking a bodybuilder pose. Kling looks strong overall, though the animation gets a bit shaky at the end. Mid-journey feels dynamic, but misses the zoom out effect. Runway just turns him into a statue. Clear winner, Kling 2.1 Master. Example 2. A mysterious scene, Game of Thrones style. A fearsome creature steps out of the fog. The camera pulls back to reveal more soldiers. Hilo starts solid, but completely loses the atmosphere halfway through. Kling looks more like a cartoon. Lots of morphing, especially in the creature's face. Mid-journey nails it. Great pacing. Great composition. Runway seems unsure what to do. The consistency breaks down quickly. Winner, mid-journey video. Example 3. France in the 1950s. A black and white portrait of a woman brushing her hair from her face. Hailu 2 handles it beautifully. Really well done. But Kling goes even further and delivers a top-tier result. Watch the background. Mid-journey keeps up, but the hair movement feels a bit off. Runway zoom is fine, but the hand motion looks artificial. In my view, we have two winners here. Kling 2.1 Master and high-low 2.
Example 4. Bigfoot, the friendly forest dweller of the Canadian wilderness, is thirsty. Time for a cold, crisp beer. Cheers! Hailu starts out well, but that plastic-looking tongue really ruins the moment. Kling once again shows up strong, dynamic, and just a bit more polished. Mid-Journey delivers a solid version too, even adding rain for effect. Runway handles it nicely as well, with a more subtle camera move. Honestly, I think each platform deserves a point here. Example 5. Here I wanted to bring a painting of a naval battle to life. Fire, smoke, storm, and a rough sea. Those are the key elements in the image. Hailu drifts away from the illustration style and ends up animating a chaotic sea fight. It's pretty messy. As we've seen before, Kling suffers from heavy morphing. It's just not usable. Mid-Journey stays true to the original look and pulls it off well. Only the splashing water feels a bit off. And Runway? I have no idea what it's trying to do. Winner, Mid-Journey video. Example 6. A scene right out of an old-school adventure film. The man stands lost in the mist, and then, suddenly, a massive spaceship emerges. Hailu's result is visually stunning, just beautiful. Kling delivers something too, but the ship looks like a random mashup of parts. Mid-Journey sticks to the Super 8 aesthetic. The ship feels more like a flying city, with laser blasts adding extra drama. Runway does a bit of everything, but turning the main figure into a shadow silhouette? Not ideal. Two winners here. Hilo 2 and Mid-Journey Video. Example 7. A comparison without this illustration style wouldn't feel complete. This one gives us a glimpse into a massive fortress, just moments before an earthquake hits. Hailu makes things explode, but without showing any realistic consequences. Even after the collapse, the right side building is still somehow standing. Kling's result is okay, though parts of it start morphing and melting like wax. Once again, Mid-Journey stays true to the style. The camera moves in the wrong direction, yes, but overall the execution is strong. Runway overlays 3D objects onto the scene and starts firing at random people, but the buildings don't collapse. Winners here, Mid-Journey Video and Kling 2.1 Master. Example 8. When you think of games, you think of maps. They're essential. In this scene, the camera dives into a medieval fantasy world. Hailu tries to follow the prompt, but then completely breaks the visual style. Kling starts out promising, but again the details are soft and blurry. It feels like someone mashed together unfinished assets. Only Mid-Journey gets it right. The game board turns into a detailed little 3D world. Really impressive. Runway just zooms in on a static image. Not useful at all. Winner, Mid-Journey Video. Example 9, a Dungeons and Dragons style setup. Four adventurers reach the end of their journey, only to face a massive dragon, guarding the treasures inside a dark fortress. Hailu starts off well, but quickly falls apart. The heroes walk through a closed door, and the dragon just drops in from the sky with no weight at all. The lighting feels completely off. Kling's version is decent, but again the morphing ruins it. Mid-journey? Spot on. Stylish, consistent. And yes, the dragon delivers. Runway's version? Let's just say it has room for improvement. Clear winner. Mid-journey video. My conclusion, if you're working with mid-journey video, or planning to, this comparison is honestly a real pleasure to watch. Compared to Hilo 2, Kling 2.1 Master, and Runway Gen 4, Mid-Journey delivers some truly impressive results, and in many cases, leaves the others clearly behind. Here's the actual outcome. You've already seen the chart. Mid-Journey leads with 7 points, followed by Kling 2.1 Master with 4, Hilo 2 with 3, and Runway Gen 4 with just 1. Of course, other users will get different results with different prompts. This evaluation reflects, as objectively as possible, only what I observed in a detailed, hands-on test series. One more thing that really stands out about Mid-Journey, you automatically get four variations per video at record speed. Now all that's missing is what VO3 does best. Audio 
to match the visuals. To wrap things up, here's a quick overview for anyone who's not yet familiar with AI video platforms and how to actually use them. Let's start with Video. On the left-hand menu, click on Video that opens the creation page. In the top left corner, you upload your image. Just below, you enter your prompt. You can also select from predefined settings. Choose resolution, video length, and the model, ideally the most recent one, and then click Generate. If you're working with Kling, the interface is quite similar. On klingai.com, click Video on the left-hand menu. The layout looks familiar if you've seen Hilo. Upload your image at the top left, enter your prompt underneath, and then select the video duration. You can also choose from the available video models. Just click the model selector at the top. Keep in mind, the choice can affect your credit usage. Kling also offers presets. Just click on Inspiration and Presets. You can even enter negative prompts, terms the AI should avoid. To start generation, hit the Generate button. Midjourney's interface is a lot simpler and more streamlined. Just click on any image you've created and choose one of the video modes from the lower right corner. If you use manual mode, you can fine tune the prompt at the top. Auto mode, on the other hand, handles the entire process for you. When you're ready, click the arrow at the top right to begin. In runway, start by clicking Generate Video on your dashboard. The interface will open, upload your image, type your prompt below, choose the aspect ratio, the model, and the duration. Then just click Generate. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for listening. See you soon. Your channel, AI, now you know.